Intel won yesterday at the official unveiling of their Network Operations Center. As you can see, it looks quite fancy, like something out of a blockbuster movie, complete with windows that can shift between transparent and opaque at the flick of a switch. But what is a Network Operations Center anyway? Tel One is an internet service provider and they have a network of telephone lines and fiber optic cables that spread all over Zimbabwe, giving its subscribers telephone and internet access. This network is huge and so they need a way of managing it to ensure that it's always working at its best. Did Tel One not have this before? Yes, they did have it before, but not in the same way. Back then it was a room full of guys on computers logging into each part of the network to see what is going on. So if a major fault occurred, the response time was based on two things. Number one was the frequency at which the technician checked the system for any anomalies. Number two was when the fault was reported by the people who had been affected by it. Take note that I said major fault. The Tower Network Operations Center monitors backbone links or major links in the network. These are the links between Tel One exchanges across the Tel One network, as well as the links providing Tel One with the internet that it then sells to all its subscribers. Will this make the Tel One service better? If by better you mean faster internet speeds, then no. Let me give an example. The network operations center is like your car's dashboard. You use it to just see how your car is running and if anything is wrong, you'll see a light pop up. You can change the old school dashboard you have and slam a new one with a touchscreen. Because it's now a touchscreen and not some analog dials, you can customize it to show what is important to you, but it will not in any way make your car go any faster or use any less fuel than it was before. And that is what Tel One's new network operations center is. A fancy new dashboard for the technicians to see what's going on in the network and hopefully react quicker to any fault ensuring that the subscribers endure the least possible time without internet access. What do you think of this explanation of the Tel One Network Operations Center? Let me know in the comments, share this video if you like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you are the first to receive any new video we make. Goodbye.